What's going on, fellow YouTubers? Chris, back with you guys with another awesome video. Um, I got to talk a little soft because I got a bad sore throat. But anyway, I found this uh, this photo and really wanted to bring this to you guys. So um, I especially want the attention of anybody who's whether you're uh, amateur or you know professional photographer. Definitely going to need you on this one, uh, as well as all my other subs. I want you to comment on this because this is nothing less than mind blowing. After you take this photo and enhance it, I want to show you a couple things that are just like. Poof, so I'm not going to make this video too long. Check this out. Okay. Here's the photo we'll be using. And you can click on the high res right here. It's a 3.2 uh, 3 meg. And if this one is only kill, killer, you know, this one's very small, the low res. You don't want that. And, of course, this is your ID number right here. You can see that. Uh, and then it says right here that uh, a portion of the Fra Moro, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, landing site is photographed by one of the Apollo 14 astronauts. Uh, standing slightly southwest of the lunar module, or the LEM, uh, during the uh, early uh, minutes of their first extravehicular activity, EVA, on the moon. The shadow of the astronaut taking the picture is at the lower right. Like, what do they think people are going to think it was a rock? Uh, photographs numbered, and then it has right here, the last four is what you want to pay attention to, from this to this, in between all of those, uh, was comprised of a, they put it all together and made a 360 degree panoramic view. So this photo is just one of the photos uh, in this pan. So, all right. So let me just show you this. A couple things I want to show you right off the bat. Uh, first of all, this here, um, this area here, yeah, that's complete crap. I've always, and if you guys notice, in the Martian photos, they do the same thing. They got this weirdness. Like, people think you just go like this. Uh, take a stroll, take a stroll, and of course you keep going with the curvature of the moon, keep walking, keep walking. That's not the case. I believe, and this is my opinion, of course, um, right here, this is, guess what? This stuff is vertical. I believe it's vertical. Okay? Now, with that in mind, because I've, I've showed you guys a couple times on the Mars photos, that's what they're doing. They they take this weird, um, I don't know if I want to use like a... Uh, they just, they basically mask this whole area. And what I mean by that, if there was a couple objects, say, in here, it could be anything. It could be, we'll just make anything, a uh, couple shapes and stuff like that. Okay, let's suppose for a moment there's intelligently made objects there. What they do is they just take this whole area and they just mask it over so you don't see any individuality of pieces sitting there. Again, I believe this is vertical and not a horizontal area like here in the foreground. Now, with that being said, let's jump in because uh, you guys are going to like this. Um, right here, let's just, I want you guys to see this because this is important. Here and here, notice the direction of the sunlight. You have what looks like here, uh, right in this direction. You have this little rock right here, and you can see the shadows right behind it. So, with that, you know, you can actually see it here. It's this little area right here. Okay, so that tells me that the sun is literally going this way, okay? And that's important to know this. I'm going to show you in a second why. Okay, so we've got the sun direction going from this way. Objects, well, anything that they want to hide would be in the background here. Now, they said that the astronauts are basically up there to look for rocks. Of course, they had seismic instruments up there too because they have moon quakes, all this other stuff. Um, but were they only looking for rocks? I don't know. This picture may change your mind because a lot of people you know they, they you know they want to say well these pictures are fake this and that. no they're not they appear to be because they look like they've been uh cgi'd in some spots no they've been masked over the actual objects just like the ones on the mars photos right so check this out i'm going to jump right to the enhanced and it'll blow your mind watch this okay please tell me what the hell is going on in this photo First of all, we have a shadow here, which has a flash in the front of it. I'm confused. Anybody else? Now, we know that the sun's coming from this direction, so clearly it's not the sun playing on the back of them. Even if the sun was coming from the back of them, this whole area would be completely lit, not conical shaped like this here. Like you would expect a camera with a flash at night. Okay? Now... What I want you guys to have a look at, too, I'm going to jump back out of that, but watch this. Have a look at these objects. You guys can take your magnifiers. You can do anything you want. Have a look at these areas here. This one here. Almost looks like this weird rectangular piece here doing this. 
Okay? It's on a ledge, it looks like, but check these things out. Here. These are clearly, they're, it's clearly, to me, in my opinion, I'm not saying I'm correct because there's no way to vet this, they're taking photos of actual objects on this moon. It's not about moon rocks, guys. Come on. Come on. Um, so why in the hell, can anybody answer me why there would be a flash going off? Okay. With that being said, let me show you guys something I think you'll like. Okay. Let me go this way. All righty. Um... Okay, it's not doing it that way I want to. Let's do it this way. Let's just drag this picture from this other screen. Okay, check this out. Again, we've got this bright area right around this shadow. Wait, hold on a minute. And this is supposed to be, if you look, now I don't know if this is the exact one because this, I believe this is Apollo 11, which it is. But you've got, it's showing like southwest. Okay, again, shadows coming from, you can see the, on the lower rocks here on the lower left. See which way this, the sun is coming. Now, keep in mind, this photo from here, right here, it actually looks like it comes down right here. That's, that's a photo, so that's split. Different times of day. See, a lot of people claim, well, there's no way they had multiple light sources. That doesn't make any sense. No, it's not multiple light sources, guys. It's, it's the position of the camera. They're taking a 360 all the way around in a circle. So, therefore, this was probably uh, different hours of the day. This was different hours of the day. And notice how the, look at the, Right here on the lower left, those shadows, and now on the on the uh, the lem. See the difference? These are different times of the day that these are taken, and not these are not completely you know uh, same time at all. But again, why is it so bright around the shadow? It simply makes no sense. It really makes no sense. It should be like broad sh daylight. I believe they're doing the same thing in this photo. I bet if I was to uh, check this photo out as well, it would do the same. So, all right, here's another photo. I think is pretty pretty wild. Let's get rid of that one. Okay, well, let's do this. Here's another one. Let's drag this one over. Check this out. Again, this is where it gets bizarre, though. Check this out, guys. What the hell is going on here? Here's, again, we've got this brightness around the shadow in the front of the shadow. And, of course, this shows the actual... This has got, like, it shows, like, uh, it should be 225. This is 229. I think there was 226 here, I think. But check this out. You can cl clearly see all of this in the background has been fudged. It's been done over. But answer me this question. Here's the footprints or the, of the shoes from the Apollo. Check this out. What the hell is this mechanical-looking object doing stuck in this mound, if you will? See it? It looks like it has a little footing, a little foot, comes down, has a joint right there, goes into it. But check this out. Look closely. Right there, manipulation. They're covering up whatever the hell is sitting right here. You can see something right there. There's things laying here that they're taking photos of. They're not up there to see rocks, guys. Clearly, they're not there to see rocks. And this is a perfect example of that. But again, what are they doing? Is this a flash? And this is not as high as we think it is. In other words, it's probably lower. There's actual objects sitting right here, and they're taking photos of it. To me, that makes more sense than than just uh, uh, just a, this silhouette or this, uh, what do you call it, shadow rather, when you look at this photo here. You can see I was starting to bring this out and check that out. These guys were here looking at objects. They were taking photos of anomalies laying on the moon surface. Here's, here's another one. Of course, this is the one I did earlier. And here's the black and white. Again, conical shaped light. Now, is it possible that this shadow is not a shadow at all, or it's a template shadow, if you will, put over, was there a camera, a remote camera? They did use cameras for up close, at least that's what they claim. They had it on a pole. They would just stick it, and they put it up against something they wanted to take a photo of. Is that possible? Or a camera set on a tripod type thing, and it was taking a flash, and they just took this thing and stuffed it over it? Because think about it. Why is the camera sitting there by itself taking a photo of something? Which is fine, because, I mean, photographers do this all the time, but why would light be coming from a shadow. Clearly that looks like a shadow being flashed onto an object. Objects. And they use what they call uh, flash strobe lighting. So, yeah, a lot of this was filmed. A lot of these were stills. 
It's hard to tell exactly how they used whatever they used. And I don't really care whether it's strobe flashing or just a regular normal flash, which is basically nothing more than a capacitor inside. It just charges and poof, it, it discharges, and that's how you get your flash. It doesn't matter. If anybody's got, <laughs> if anybody can answer this question, why in the hell this shadow would be here with a flash behind it? And clearly, like I said, it looks nice and bright here. If you notice, it gets bright in the center, a little less bright, a little less brighter, so on and so forth until the just com light completely dies out. Here's the thing, too. Can you guys see this right here? One, two, three, and four in the back. Check this out. There's other objects laying there, and just by using the burn tool, I could bring out the edge of these things. Couldn't tell you what they are. They could be just dirt mounds. Don't know. But clearly, they're taking stuff. They're taking photos of whatever's on this, on this, uh, on this moon. See, I did this this way, and I was like, wow, what the hell is going on here? Brought it down as dark as I could, and even at the just very bright, you can see it, its brightest area right here. I think we're seeing the actual uh, photo of what's really going on and what they were really doing on this moon. You know, this is nothing more than a reconnaissance mission. They seen what was on the moon? Go. They had the LRO up there, seen all kinds of things going on. Go, guys. Go up there now. Let's take photos of this stuff up close. And that's what they're there for. And it's no different than Mars. It's a reconnaissance, uh, you know, basically mission to just take and scavenge whatever they see. And at least that's my opinion. I'm not saying, I'm, you know, I'm just speculating here, of course. Um, but check it out. To me, this blew my mind, absolutely blew it. It gives you a whole different perspective of really what's going on in this, this photo from what could be possibly an astronaut actually crouched down taking a picture. And this has been overlaid on top of him. And he's taking photos to a... Nothing more than a simple shadow on this big, well, supposedly just lunar surface. No, 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 no. I think this is what's really going on in the photo, and this is what they've been doing all this time. Hey, like I said, guys, take a look at this in the back here and tell me what you see. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep it much longer. I just wanted to show you this thing. It, it's, it, you know, I just don't feel that good, man. I, I apologize for this, but um, I definitely wanted to let you guys see this thing because it's nothing uh, less than phenomenal as far as I'm concerned uh, what's in these photos. Just have a close look. And I strongly believe, to be honest with you, is that that's all these are is reconnaissance, man. They've seen this stuff long before they sent man. Same thing they're doing on Mars right now, right? They have these orbiters around there. Um, India's got uh, orbiters around there. We're all taking photos of stuff there. Now we want to go there. This is no different than the moon. They looked at the moon. They can look at it from the largest telescope here on Earth, have a close look at the moon, and say, hey, I don't know what this stuff is, but get up there and have a look. Okay. Now, did they look at rocks? Sure. I bet they did that, too. But here's the catch. They were just looking for, I think they wanted to see what the metals, if there was any metals or what they were, uh, uh, the, you know, uh, composition of these said stones and rocks. And some of them were titanium. They were finding metals up there that were titanium, which is like really strong metal, right? So, yeah, what's really going on and what was really going on in these photos? Now, I showed this to Ken Johnston yesterday as well as Brett uh, and Colin Shepard. And they were totally blown away going, yeah, what the hell is that? What's in that photo? What's going on? I told them how I felt. They said, you know what? You could be very well right. It totally blew their minds, too. They could not figure out what was going on. But here it is, guys. Give me your take on it. Let me know what you think. Share the video, please. Always appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. And more, more importantly than ever, put your comment down below. Let me know what you guys think because that's important. And especially any of you guys that are amateur or professional photographers, leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think. Is it mind-blowing stuff to you or is it something that... Um, yeah, it can be easily explained. I'd go either way with it as long as it makes sense. Um, I'm more than happy to listen to either way. But anyway, guys, stay tuned. I got another moon video coming up, and then we're going to jump back to Mars. Uh, more interesting and cool stuff. So anyway, guys, stay tuned for that. Again, always a pleasure uh, doing these videos for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.